teaching you how to write the Seven Nation Army drum parts. So the very first thing that we did back in class was work out what the Seven Nation Army drum pattern was. We also figured out that all three parts happen at different times. So we did this by listening to the song. So if you want to have YouTube open and have Seven Nation Army playing so you can hear the different parts from class, uh, then make sure that you have that open. However, the very first part that we had was at the very beginning of the song and it was only the bass drum by itself. Partway through, the snare drum joined in and then in the main part of the song, the cymbals came in too. So because of that, we need three separate drum parts. So to write part one, we need to write the bass drum part. So each box here is one beat. So we got the bass drum playing on beats one, two, three, four. So if I go back here and I just uh, make sure, so this is a metronome. Metronome is a counter that helps you count the speed of the music. So I'm not going to change this number, I'm going to keep the same. Metronome's on. If I press play, I'll hear a click. That click is your beat. And if we count on from the beginning, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, they're the beats that we have. So the bass drum needs to play on every beat. One, two, three, four. So we're going, we need to add drums first. So we're going to go add new track. We're going to add drums and beats. Now the first thing that's going to come up is this purple these purple boxes. We're not going to use those this time. We're going to go to instrument. So you've got instrument patterns, piano roll, we're going to do instrument. And then you'll have, have a virtual drum kit here. So that clicks changed a little bit. So if I click on these instruments, there's lots of different sounds for them. Now at the moment it's set to machines, which is more of like your dance style music, but we're on rock music, so we're going to change this. So click here where it says machines. In the middle column you'll see kits at the top. And then in that far column we're going to go down to 70s. Double click and it'll automatically change it. Now when we click on them, they sound quite different. So your bass drum is the biggest drum, so that's this one. The A means you can press the A key on the keyboard rather than clicking on it. Then you've got D, this one is your snare drum, so I can press the D key on the keyboard. And then your cymbals are these ones around the side, the lighter purple. Of course, you can use any of them. I'll probably go with one when it gets to that point. But the first thing we need to do is record the bass drum. So remember the bass drum needs to play on one, two, three, four. So if I just press play, a bit of a practice. You only need to record four beats. So I'm going to press this key here. That's going to take me back to the beginning. Alternatively, you can check the purple line up here and make sure that's at the beginning. When I press record, the red button, I need to wait for it to count down and then I'm going to play the bass on beats one, two, three, four, and then stop. So press record. Count you in with the numbers there for you. One, two, three, four, and stop. So now if I listen back to this part. You can hear that's pretty close. It's on every single beat. And if I look at this key bar at the top, I'll be able to see that the four separate beats in there for the bass drum. So that's how you record part one of the drum. If you want to record part two, what you're going to do is press these three dots up the top. So they won't be there unless you actually hover over it. And you're going to go duplicate track. That's going to create an exact copy of what you've already got. For part two, we need bass and snare. 
So we've already got this recording, so why don't we record it again? We're just going to copy it. Now what we need to add is a snare drum on beats 2 and beat 4. So again, you practice that first. Um, now because we've duplicated, we just double click on this colored bar here. And those purple lines come back up. We're going to go to instrument. Remember D is a snare drum. We need 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Have a bit of a play first, make sure you've got it correct. If you're comfortable, make sure purple lines at the beginning. Record. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You only need to do it just those two beats as soon as you get four stop. Okay, and now you can see that those extra little bars are added above. They're the snare drum parts. Okay, and we add the third part, which is all three together. So three dots, duplicate, double click on the colored part, back to instrument. And what we need to do is add the symbol. So on one, two, three, four, same as the bass drum, but it's a symbol instead. So again, practice first. One, two, three, four. Okay, once you're happy with it and practice, make sure the purple line's at the beginning. Press record. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And stop. And if we listen back to that. Now I can hear that that is not perfect and I'm going to fix that by using a method called quantizing which I'm going to show you in the next one. But for now what we've got are the three parts, one with bass drum, one with bass and snare and one with bass, snare and cymbals. And the three parts finished with writing in your three drum parts. Make sure you watch the video on how to quantize to make sure that it is